It's the season of love and generosity. A time when your friends and family give you gifts as a sign of love and gratitude. Or in my case, a time when a fellow invertebrate hobbyist gave me a gift to add to my growing menagerie of creatures. Scaled, feathered, aquatic, colonial, slimy, and multi-legged. This week, AC family, a friend of mine who you might know, named Exotic Slayer, from the Exotic Slayer YouTube channel, sent me a gift. He too is an owner of a multitude of exotic creatures, and I can't wait to see what he sent me. I know it's alive, and it's big. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube crossover you have all been waiting for. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC Fam. Enjoy! This big box wrapped in holiday wrapping arrived at my place today. Hmm. Let's see. Well, well, well. It's from my good friend Exotic Slayer. What a surprise. Just kidding. I knew this was coming and have been waiting for it for days. For the longest time, one of my most requested collabs from you guys has been to collab with Exotic Slayer. I'm sure many of you AC family have seen his channel where he shows his various arachnids and reptiles. I love his channel, and so I reached out to him to collab. And so, we decided that for the holiday season, we'd get each other a new pet creature to add to our respective critter rooms. The rule was, we could get each other anything we wanted. Super cool, right? And so, here lies the box from Exotic Slayer. Quite a big box, I must say. What could be inside, I wonder? Hmm. Well, there's nothing left to do but to unwrap the gift. And just like they say, you gotta rip the wrapper for good luck. There you go. Oh man! Guys, look! It was huge! And sitting right there up against the glass. Guess she was eager to be seen. At first I didn't recognize the species. And this is what Exotic Slayer had to say. Hey, yo, what's going on AC family and what's up AC? <laughs> if you guys don't know already what this video is about, well, Christmas is coming near, it's around the corner, so AC and I just decided that we're gonna buy each other Christmas presents. How exciting! Yeah, I know! So, <laughs> what we did was we decided to pack each other an animal and just pass the animal over so we can unbox it and create an enclosure for it and care for it and all those good stuff. By the time this video is uploaded, Christmas is probably just a few days away and my video should probably be up maybe a few days after AC sees videos so yeah this is my channel so <laughs> wow self-promotion <laughs> i'm not sure if ac is gonna insert this clip before the unboxing or after his unboxing but yeah anyways if this is after the unboxing you guys already know what i've bought for ac and well it is this i have it as well yes i actually wanted to get him a different animal but then all the animals that were there i never had experience with so yeah i mean i'm a tarantula guys so what do you expect right <laughs> So yeah, anyways, this is the tarantula I got him. I mean, not not this one, but the same species. Well, this is a Chuck Goldeny, also known as the Gramostola polcrepes or polcrips, however you want to say it. These guys come from Paraguay, wherever that is, South America or something. Yeah, my geography, eh, no, not good. So basically what we're going to be doing is rehousing her into this enclosure and just giving AC a brief explanation on how their care is and how their temperament is and why I bought it for him okay let's just go with why i got it for him well it was my first ever tarantula species no not not this particular one this in fact was actually my first tarantula's daughter yeah the first tarantula that i got he matured out matured male after about close to two years one and a half years around there so we paired him and this is one of his daughters very very beautiful girl check her out love this girl so much she actually has another sibling which is in my tarantula room but i just took her out because she is slightly bigger than her 
sibling. Anyways, the reason I got this for AC is because they are the best. I mean, maybe not the best, but one of the best beginner tarantula species because they are generally... Wait, before you even touch them, you gotta test their temperament first. Yep, you see, she's just pretty calm. You just touch their butt like this and <laughs> they're good. As you can see, they're not really quick to bite. I mean, they do have mood swings as well, so you gotta watch out for that. But in general, they are super chill tarantulas. See, I could even like high five it. Yep, they're super chill tarantulas, but you don't want to just go and grab them because they're still spiders regardless. They can't really think. I know AC has had tarantulas. He had a lot of tarantulas. Like, he's probably even more experienced than me because I only started like a couple years back and he probably started like way, way, way before me. So yeah, anyways, I just chose this for him because it is the best beginner. I know it's not a beginner, but I mean, regardless, it's super chill. And I always like chill tarantulas. I mean, who doesn't like chill tarantulas? And also, they are stunning. I mean, look at that. Check that out. So yeah, mm, they're just awesome, okay? That's why I chose it for him. And they're super easy to care for. They don't even need a lot of attention. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just get her into a new... Oh yeah, before that, I want to mention that she's in this ugly looking enclosure because the previous enclosure had dry substrate. Hey, where are you going, girl? Where are you going? No, you're not going anywhere. But yeah, this enclosure has damp substrate and not a lot of ventilation is because we've been experiencing heat waves. Where are you going? Okay, fine, you want to walk on a bit. It's soft, so yeah. To you. We've had heat waves the past couple of months and I've lost quite a bit of tarantulas on that. So when I realized I put most of my tarantulas into these shoe boxes with only four ventilation holes and damp substrate, I noticed that this allows the humidity and the temperature to stay constant in the enclosure. These guys, however, they do enjoy, they do prefer dry substrate, but I mean, if this is going to be for the best for them to not die from the heat wave, then be it. But now we're going to be rehousing her into this enclosure. So let's just take a quick look as to what's in here girl what are you doing are you gonna get touched or mm. all right there we go <laughs> close. But yeah, let's just take a look at this enclosure. So I'm pretty sure that AC is going to make a way better and nicer looking enclosure than I do. I mean, dude, looking at all your ant enclosures, dude, I'm so jealous and I kind of feel embarrassed that I'm giving you advice on enclosures. But yeah, this is how I'm going to be setting her up. So basically over here, we have substrate, which is a mix of coconut fiber, compost, river sand, soil, and charcoal. Yeah, just a little bit. So over here, we have got a real plant, which is on the way to die because there's no roots. I just cut this from a plant and just put it over there and then over here we've got some plastic plants down there you can see some white stuff those are actually perlite not necessary i just put that over there to maybe like retain some humidity and yeah over there is a place where she can go in and hide like a retreat and then up here there's like a canopy so if she wishes she could come at the side over here and just walk up and chill up there it's like a little roof there are little sticks over here and dried leaves so yeah there'll be a pebble stack. So that's basically it for her enclosure. Super basic, super simple. I mean, compared to ACs, I mean, <laughs> I don't even want to think of how awesome this enclosure is going to be because it's just going to make me feel bad. But yeah, anyways, let's get her into her new enclosure and yeah, we'll be good to go. Since she is pretty chill, we can just, I guess, pick her up. Yep, she's super chill today, which is awesome. Come on, girl. Look at that, yo. Sorry guys, my phone's not focused. If you guys don't know, I'm filming with my iPhone 7. So yeah, bear with me. She's good to go, yo. I hope you enjoy your new enclosure. She's straight into the retreat. Oh, beautiful. Oh, she's already found her, her little hide over there. That's awesome. And as you guys know, they're still animals. Even spiders need a drink. So you're gonna get a water dish and put it at the corner. I mean, I'm gonna get a water dish, put it at the corner there. You guys wanna put a water dish because they do, in fact, drink. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll I'll see you in the next video. I mean, no, wait, that's that's my outro. No, I'll see you um somewhere, okay? Sorry, I'm 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 known as the awkward cringy guy on the YouTube. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Awesome! A Chaco Golden Eat Tarantula! Thanks so much, Exotic Slayer! I love her! And I love the setup you made for yours! The spider's colors definitely reminded me of my very first tarantula that I had years ago as a kid. A close relative called a rose hair. I can see where this Chaco Golden Knee gets its name. Look at those bright golden patches found on its knees. See how beautiful she is? I couldn't wait for her to settle into our antiverse. AC style. Check out what I had planned next. So I knew the setup wasn't designed by Exotic Slayer himself, but rather came with the tarantula at purchase. It's a typical display terrarium, which works. But as you know, 
we here on the channel like to spoil our creatures and give them the best living conditions possible. Though a basic Chaco Tarantula setup doesn't need to be fancy, I wanted to give her a Tarantula Paradise, ideal for terrestrial tarantulas like herself. I noticed she didn't like to hang out much in the clay pot hide provided to her, but rather chose to stay at the back of the tree stump. It's cool that she enjoys being out in the open so we could see her, but I hear the species does like to dig. Plus, I wanted to make her terrarium a bit more bioactive with some plants and soil creatures. And with that AC family, let's create our new Chaco Goldeny Tarantula, a new home. First, I had to remove the tarantula from the enclosure so we could work freely inside. I wasn't afraid, because as Exotic Slayer said, these tarantulas are generally docile. I just had to test her by tapping her a little with my plastic stick thingy. <laughs> also making sure not to startle her. Regardless of how friendly a tarantula is, the fangs still work, and a tarantula will bite if they feel the need to. But she poses no problem. Ah, there. Isn't she just magnificent? She's absolutely huge! You want to make sure when picking these tarantulas up, you don't drop them, because the pedicle, which attaches the head to the abdomen, isn't designed to absorb shock very well in terrestrial tarantulas like this. I made sure areas of escape were blocked and quickly placed her holding container beneath her. And in she goes. Now, let's remove these big components inside the tank so I can begin transforming the land. First, I removed the earthen pot. Yes, in a bare bone setup like this, it looks nice and works, but I wanted something a bit more natural looking for her hide. Next, let's address the big elephant in the room. And by that, I mean this big tree trunk that looks like an elephant trunk. <laughs> now to add more soil medium, so I could give her more stuff to dig into, as well as for growing some plants later. And for that, I will be needing the nucleus. This bioactive soil full of beneficial creatures and the worms will be essential in the growth of plants in this terrarium, as well as keeping it cleaner for our tarantula. Next, I'll be adding in some ordinary soil. Now for the centerpiece, I wanted her burrow to be somewhere in the middle, so I placed this gorgeous tree trunk here, which would offer a sort of hide, as well as give the terrarium an interesting topography with varying levels. As always, I like to design using the armchair format. Highest decor and land at the back, lower on the sides, and lowest at the front. It makes for optimal viewing. Next are these philodendron and vein plants. They are my go-to terrarium plants because they do well in low light and varying water conditions. These tarantulas don't need wet terrariums, so these plants will be perfect. Next, I will add this piece of cork bark to further accentuate where the burrow should be. Just to spell out clearly where our tarantula could retreat to for a hide. And there we go. Also, I added some sphagnum moss inside for comfort, as well as around the tank as a gorgeous terrarium garnishing. And the final touch is this water bowl. Are you ready to see the final product, AC family? Here it is. AC family, behold, the new home of our Chaco Goldeny Tarantula. I aim to create her a tree stump sanctuary, where she could burrow if she wanted to, as well as have lots of room to wander if she wanted. What do you think, AC family? Do you think she'll like it? Here is a close-up of the burrow. Hopefully she moves into this space. Some tarantula keepers like to see their tarantulas 24-7 but I'm the type that is okay with just seeing them half in and half out of their burrows at night, legs out and waiting for prey. We'll see. These gorgeous plants truly add a natural touch to this haven. They'll also be great for keeping humidity higher. Finally, it is time to bring back the star of the show. Here she is. Go, go, go! 
And into the terrarium we place her. And awesome! Right into the tunnel she goes! Super cool! Now let's close the lid and allow her to rest. She stood still for a while in her new palace. But it wasn't long before she started to explore. How I loved her so much! She was so cute! And oh, looks like she had found a second floor to what I thought was a bungalow. She slipped into a cozy space above where I had expected her to hide. She remained there for the night. <laughs> ah well, I guess you can lead a tarantula to a tank, but you can't make them burrow. Over the next few days, I watched her try out different areas of the terrarium. And though I caught her resting inside her burrow a couple times, her favorite spot was right here, on top of her bed of plants where she could sprawl out, chilling on her earthen porch. I'm thrilled to welcome this new gorgeous spider to the Antiverse. All right, guys, you know what's next, right? What should we name this new huge Chaco Goldeny Tarantula? Leave your name suggestions in the comments and I'll choose my top five favorites for us to vote on in a future video. Big thank you again to Exotic Slayer. Be sure to check his channel out on Monday to see what epic creature I got him. I'll tell you now, they're one of my favorite creatures in the world, and I'm certain it would be a perfect addition for Exotics Layer's Exotics Layer. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's Ant and Spider Love forever. All right, guys, did you enjoy today's episode? Be sure to leave your name suggestions for our new girl in the comments. A lot more nature and animal goodness coming up. Plus, we now upload twice a week. For the month of December, anyway. So you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button and bell icon for notifications now. And choose all, so you get notified every time we upload these high-quality nature videos of our ant room. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video as well. Just a reminder, I wanted to let everyone know that AntsCanada.com is having its big annual holidays promo, the 2020 sale. That's 20% off all hybrid series ant farms and gear packs from now until January 2020, plus a free copy of our newly updated Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook, right now at AntsCanada.com. Click the link in the description to get your AC ant farm today. AC Inner Colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would like clues as to what I got Exotic Slayer for the holidays, <laughs> go see if you can figure it out before his video uploads. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, why would it be a bad idea to mix the two colonies? Congratulations to Nintendo1306 Rashiram, who correctly answered, they would fight. Congratulations Nintendo, you just won a free Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook from our shop. In this week's AC Question of the Week, we ask, Why was I okay to handle this tarantula? Leave your answer in the comment section, and you could also win a free ebook handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love Forever. <laughs>